For there is nothing hidden that will not become evident, nor anything secret that will not be known and come out in the open. Luke chapter 8, verse 17. Welcome back to my channel. You know, the longer I live, the more I learn that all that glitters is not gold, and not everyone is who they claim to be. I've accepted this fact in life, but sometimes, you know, our loving Heavenly Father exposes people for who they really are, and exposes situations for what they really are, and shows us what's really going on behind the scenes. And it's for everyone to see. You know, I believe tomorrow, January 6th, we're going to see whether the congressmen, the senators, and even the vice president himself are who they claim to be. Whether they are committed to serving we the people and upholding the U.S. Constitution, or whether they govern based on their own selfish interests. It's either we the people or the globalist socialist agenda that will win tomorrow or in the days that follow. There's no hiding on January 6. I'm assuming we will all know who rejected the questionable electors and who did not. Considering the continually growing volume of evidence, it would be pretty foolish to accept the current state of electors in favor of Biden. I'm sure there are some political careers that will be damaged tomorrow and some that will blossom because decisions always have consequences. As I have stated, since immediately after the election, if President Trump does win, he will be blamed for using his power to overthrow the election. The goal is to delegitimize his presidency. So you want to be praying for what will happen tomorrow and for what happens after the election is decided. It's definitely time to pray for the mercies of God for the nation. The focus of my prayers for the last several weeks has been the same thing. The Holy Spirit has really impressed upon my heart to ask and pray specifically for the mercies of God to determine the election outcome. Despite all the bad decisions that have been made for decades by our leaders to reject and abandon our Christian values and the Lord Jesus Christ, my hope is that God in His mercy will not give our leadership over to a depraved mind. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 32 describes those who knew God but did not honor Him as God, and how they were given over to a depraved mind, and the depravities are listed one by one. Strikingly, the progressive agenda or movement is made up of many of those depravities that are listed. I'm praying that God will spare America from the progressive socialist agenda that is both depraved and totally unconstitutional. As one who has personally received great mercies from God in my life and was spared from the foolishness of my own ways, I can tell you this, it will take humility and brokenness before the Lord to stand in the gap and plead for His mercies to save the Constitutional Republic of the United States. God's mercies are mysterious to me. He grants them when we don't think they're often deserved. Yet, I've also seen Him withhold His mercies and allow people to reap what they have sown. God is just, and He judges justly. Those are decisions that He alone makes. I can only do my part to pray in spirit and in truth, and you can only do yours. I rest in that. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seeks Him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 21 to 26 You stop the rain You calm the storms And carry the clouds away You bring the sun And hold up the stars That light up my heart once more 
You were never that far There was nothing to fear Don't look around Don't be dismayed I am always there for you I know I am your God And I will be your strength If you let me carry you You are my God And you will be my strength And I will let you carry me And I know you will hold me up You will be the hand That is always there for me